everyone, it's Michelle here from 3Ps and I wanted to do kind of a project share or show you how my little Halloween boxes uh, turned out. The ones that I showed how to make from the funnel folders. So I've got a couple here left to put together and I was going to show you how I did that. But first I wanted to show you how some of them turned out. Like this one here with a purple handle and it's little goodies on the inside and I've got the Halloween uh, bat ribbon around it and I got these stickers from Dollar Tree got the ribbon from Dollar or the uh, tissue paper from Dollar Tree and the pipe cleaners pretty much a lot of this came from Dollar Tree so there's that one and then I've got this one here it's like this one it's got the Halloween ribbon around it with an orange handle that I made from some pipe cleaners or put together from pipe cleaners so there's that and let's see, I got another one like this with a yellow handle. I, the pack of the pipe cleaners came with yellow, orange, purple, red, and green. And I set the red and green aside. <laughs> Christmas coming up. And so I got these here. I just used the yellow, the orange, and the purple. So I thought he was cute. Look at the little heart right there in his little, little pumpkin face. These are so cute. And then I've got some boxes that turned out like this where I've got some bats stamped on it and I put, I had some of uh, these pumpkins that I got from Target, these little felt pumpkins. I had those left over from, from cards I made and I stuck them on the boxes too. So I thought that turned out pretty stinking cute. I think the, my husband works in a dental lab so there's a lot of, I think the ladies at the office are gonna love these little boxes. So what I end up doing was putting a few treats inside the box. There's each box has an M&M &M pack, a Skittles pack, a little bundle here with some of the Halloween stickers that you get and the little erasers from Dollar Tree. The erasers come 12 to a pack and I made 24 boxes. So two packs was 24, it worked out pretty good. The little stickers too. And of course the little yellow bags, the little gauze bags, they come eight to a pack. Now they used to be six to a pack, but now they're eight to a pack at Dollar Tree. So. Uh, got a bunch of those and of course the little cards that I made also from the same file folder that I used to make the boxes and I made these little cards and some of them have green hats and some of them have the find one with a purple hat there we go so like some have the purple hat some have green hats and I thought these turned out really cute in the video that I showed where I, I showed how I put these together um, I had put ribbon on the back but I ended up doing them like this which just says happy halloween on the back and i stamped a couple of the bats my little bat stamp that i have so i thought that was a cute little card inside the box that just simply says happy halloween and then i put them inside little cards inside one of the little baseball card sleeves you can get like a pack of 100 for like two or three dollars i got mine at um where to get these uh hobby lobby so yeah so i thought that was pretty cute down inside the um down inside the boxes put that back in there so all I did was I got some tissue the big long packs of tissue paper at Dollar Tree and one sheet of tissue paper will make four small squares I just folded it on itself until it made a, a square and then just cut the side and it'll make four uh, little pieces of tissue paper and I got the sparkly kind and so I just took my little goodies here and piled everything up. Little Skittles, a card, a little treat bag. Made like a little Halloween sandwich goodie here. And then I just took my tissue paper and just kind of stuck it in the middle and then wrapped the tissue paper around it. Creating like a little, a little bundle. And pulled the tissue paper around it like this. And then I just took the bundle and stuck it down inside the box. Like this. And then you've got yourself a little little basket, a little bundle here with a handle and everything. So I thought that turned out pretty cute. And so, let's see, we'll do this last one here. It's the last one I have to put together. The little ghost. Ooh. I'm sorry. These were so much fun to put together. All this Halloween stuff, it's just, oh, it's just so cute. So I just took the pipe cleaner, obviously fed it through both sides where I punched the little holes. And I just kind of eyeballed 
about where I wanted the handle to stick up at. So I thought that was a good height for the handle. And then I just took the pieces on the inside that are sticking down and folded them up. And just, you know, loosely, or not loosely, but tightly, well, I said loosely, tightly wrapped it around this top part of the handle, making sure that this little part here is nice and tucked in and it's not going to poke anybody. Okay, so that's that side. And then do the same on this side. These don't have to be perfect. You know, it is a whimsical little box here. Folding this all the way up. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing with my big old hands in the way. There you go. Little handle there for your little your little box. Like your little Halloween basket. And then again, I just took some little these little gauze bags and filled it with some treats. Little box of stickers inside that a little eraser the little ghost is so cute and then just cinched it together and it makes like a little bundle that's going inside so i got my skittles i didn't know what candies to get but these little the m ms and skittles are the same size pack and it's like square shaped so i thought that fit nice and nice and perfect down inside the box so i got my little card my little bag of goodies and some candy makes like a little sandwich and then I just took my tissue paper and wrapped it around it like this and just kind of bundled it up and just took the whole thing and stick it down inside the box like this and it just makes for a cute little little goodie bag there so then it's a little box with a handle I think these turned out really cute. So I have one like this with the pumpkins and the bats and the little washi, this trim I got at Dollar Tree that goes around the box like this. And then I've got some that are like this one here with the purple handle and a little pumpkin face and the bat ribbon. And then, oh, let's see. Well, and then some of them of course have a yellow handle and then some have it with the Halloween ribbon going around it so yeah so there we have it my little treat boxes I think these turned out pretty darn cute so thanks everyone for watching today and I hope you enjoyed the last of my Halloween videos and hopefully soon I can start on some Christmas stuff I got a lot of ideas that I'm thinking about so I'm hoping to get those started really soon thanks everyone for watching and I hope you all have a really good day thanks so much bye now